Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, again, I want to thank you so much for your prayers for little Luke. Uh, he's uh, progressing fine from the surgery and uh, in a regular uh, pediatric unit at this time. Hopefully he'll go home maybe even later today or tomorrow. So thank you so much for your prayers. Now, as we continue to uh, look at Joshua chapter 23, we want to read verses 10 through the end of the chapter, these last seven verses. And what we've already learned so far is how Joshua, in his last words, is reminding God's people what the Lord did for them. That's in the first verses. Then he reminded them what the Lord said to them. Now he's reminded them of what the Lord will do to them if they disobey him or if they obey him. Isn't it amazing? God's Word is a wonderful book, and Joshua knew the reason for his success was he meditated upon God's Word. Matter of fact, in verse 10, he says, One man shall chase a thousand, for the Lord your God is he who fights for you as he promised you. Now, Joshua got that from Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 30, something that Moses had repeated to the nation of Israel before he died, his last words. And now Joshua is remembering God's word. He's repeating God's word, and he's sharing God's word with these people and saying, hey, God will bless you. Yes, God's word is a two-edged sword. If we keep his word, we will enjoy the blessings of his promises. If we disobey his word, we find Find that we will be chastened. He promises to chasten us. And notice he says in verse 11, therefore take careful heed to yourselves that you love the Lord, the, the Lord your God, or else if indeed you go back and cling to the remnant of these nations, these that remain among you, and make marriages with them, and go in to them and they to you, know for certain that the Lord your God will no longer drive out these nations from before you. They'll be a snare and traps to you, and scourges on your sides, and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from this good land which the Lord your God has given you. Behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth. And you know in all your hearts and all your souls, there has not one thing has failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spoke concerning you. All have come to pass for you. Not one word of them has failed. Therefore it shall come to pass that as all the good things have come upon you, which the Lord your God promised you, so the Lord will bring up so, so the Lord will bring upon you all harmful things until he has destroyed you from this good land which the Lord your God has given you. When you have transgressed the covenant of the Lord your God, which he commanded you, and have gone and served other gods and bowed down to them, then the anger of the Lord will burn against you, and you shall perish quickly from the good land which he has given you. And so you can see that Moses had also given these same words to the people before he died in the book of Deuteronomy. And Joshua is reaffirming these warnings that if you keep God's word, he'll bless you. But if you mingle with these nations, read Psalm 106. Psalm 106 is exactly what happened. They did mingle with the nations and God sent them into captivity. Now, three times God calls this, Joshua calls this land the good land, verse 13, verses 15 and 16. Actually, Joshua also called this land the good land. Moses also called this land the good land. Moses did it at least three times in the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. It's a good land. We have been blessed with good blessings in a good land. That's the land of living the Spirit-filled Christian life, claiming the inheritance that we have in Jesus Christ. We have been promised good things. All good things come from God. And my friend, why would we give up those good things for the love of the world, for just a few minutes of pleasure in the world? Today, let us remember, it's a good land. It's a good place to be in the blessings of the Lord. Read Matthew chapter 5, those blessings that we receive when we live in the power of the Holy Spirit and keep the Lord first in our lives. Well, God bless you. What a great chapter. Read it over several times, and I believe it'll speak to your heart even today, and you'll dwell in that good land. God bless. Have a good day. A wonderful, wonderful day.